Let's talk about The Confidence Gap by Russ Harris. This is one of my favorite books pretty much of all time, of all the books I've read. And it's because some of the concepts and it just keeps sticking with me. So one of the main things is the only thing that cures fear is action. That's it. The, that's the only thing, that's the only way to get over something. If you're scared of it, you just have to go do it. Uh, you know, there's there's certain limits to this, certainly. You know, you don't want to go jump off a 100-foot cliff into water if you've never even done a 50, 60-foot one, right? You want to do it incrementally. But the thing is, it's always, you know, to get over fear, it's always the action first. You're always going to feel uncomfortable doing something you've never done before. And... It, that's just the nature of it. Uh, it Maybe not necessarily uncomfortable, but excited. It depends on uh, what you're doing, you know, how much risk is involved. But if you're doing something that's, that's, that's scary to you, yeah, you're going to be uncomfortable. You're making, maybe, maybe you just started to make videos like this one. Or maybe you're thinking about going snowboarding for the first time. And it's going to be scary. You're going you're gonna to face obstacles like your brain telling you you can't do stuff injuries if you're you know trying to or pick up a new extreme sport you're gonna fear social rejection if you're doing something like I'm doing right now and putting a video up so the only way to get over that is to just go do it guys I mean that's that's it you just have to practice it just keep going just keep going at it and the other thing this book talked about that was I feel like is super important is self-acceptance because that way, when if you fail, right? If you still, if you if you say I'm gonna love myself anyway, whether I fail or succeed, then you don't have much to lose, right? If you if you fail and you're like, well, you know, I'm still comfortable with myself. I just that just didn't work out. That's a healthier mindset of beating yourself up about it. So self acceptance and action cures fear. That's the only way to do it. If you're if fear stopping you from doing something. It's, it's never going to go away. So you just have to get comfortable with the fact that the fear is there. Figure out why. Figure out reasons that it's invalid. You know, pick it apart. Where is it really coming from? Is it an irrational thing? Or is this like a legitimate thing that could actually happen, right? I mean, how, how drastic is it going to be if what you fear comes, comes to reality? And, you know, accept it. Look, look at it and see if it's really something that you feel should be stopping you. Because... If you don't step out of your comfort zone, if you don't face fear, you're never going to get what you want in life. You're never going to experience those things you want to experience. And we're all, we're all going to experience discomfort and fear. It's not, it's, it, there's people that do amazing things, whether it's, you know, on a snowboard or uh, I can't even think of other examples right now, whether they're, they're like super successful in business, whatever it is. Um, maybe they played out their maybe they maybe they play out a lot at, in a band or something, right? They had to start somewhere. That's always nerve wracking playing music in front of people. So, it's the people who do all those things. It's not that they're not afraid to do it. It's just that they have a different relationship with their fear. They accept that it's there and they go out and do it anyway. They do it for the excitement, right? And they know that fear is there. They know they're gonna feel that. And part of them, like a lot of a lot of people get rushes from that. I know I get rushes from things that I do that like I, f I fear. I I'm terrified of heights, so I'll get I'll stand close to the edge of a cliff sometimes just to just to feel it like sit in me, feel that that intensity because I feel I find it so fascinating that it can be you know a calm day and I'm a couple feet away from a ledge and all of a sudden I feel like I'm gonna lose my footing and fall. I never I never lose my footing right walking down the street. I mean, whatever. I'm, it's not common to just fall, but for some reason when I'm near a ledge, I get terrified. So sometimes I'll just go near a ledge just so I can feel that, feel that intensity and get to know that side of me better and kind of learn to deal with it. And it's, you know, guys, you can, you can do all sorts of things. Whatever you're afraid of, just get closer with it. Get to the point where you're familiar with it. Kind of get comfortable with it. That's the only way you're going to grow. Uh, so be sure to like this video, leave some comments. I'm really curious to hear what you guys have to say about this one. And I will talk to you guys soon.